Welcome to The Hague and welcome to the GSMA's Mobile 360 Security for 5G event. Now, as event themes go, this one is about as topical as it gets. With online security breaches making regular headlines and now US-China relations engulfed by security fears over certain Chinese vendors, it was up to GSMA Director General Matt Scranrid to warn against the dangers of continuing down this path. In the mobile industry, now more than ever, trust is truly everything. There is trust between consumers and their mobile operator, their handset providers, and the apps they use, and of course the data that we share within the apps. And there's trust between operators, handsets, and app providers, and their suppliers. And there's trust between them and governments and regulators. And then of course there's trust between nations. Without trust, especially consumer trust, we have nothing. We don't have a product, we don't have a service, and we certainly do not have an industry. Arguably, the biggest headlines of the event were made by UK government agency, the National Cyber Security Council. Dr Ian Levy didn't pull any punches in his assessment of the state of the country's mobile market. Um, something's broken in 5G. I mean, really broken. What kind of sector incentivizes a market where the leader in the market, the market volume leader, has the security that we published in the Oversight Board report in March. I mean, that was bad security. How is that okay? What kind of incentive are you providing, as operators, are you providing to your vendors to do the right thing? As far as I can tell, none. We need to fix that too. The market, the market's broken. So 10 years ago, we had what, 12 different vendors, something like that? Now we've got three to five, we worked out, scale vendors across the world. How is that okay? Huawei, a company in the spotlight daily over perceived security threats, laid out its defense, arguing that it is the most inspected, reviewed and audited company in the world. Network rival ZTE and Ericsson also took to the stage, with the Swedish vendor calling for closer collaboration between all parties in the fight for a secure 5G world. The operator community was also well represented. Canada's TELUS highlighted the need for new approaches to network and service assurance in the 5G era, with Chief Security Officer Carey Frey pointing to the aircraft industry as a great example of the direction that should be taken. Turkcell's Feridun Actus told delegates the operator's experience suggests three main approaches will carry over from the IT world into 5G security. Protecting endpoints, platform enablers, and the use of AI to secure the next generation networks. Swisscom, Orange Spain and Telefonica also gave insight into these issues. It's clear that 5G is going to enable a host of very cool new services. But this Mobile 360 event really hammered home the fact that 5G is also going to act as something of an accelerant for cyber criminal activity. The debate in here this week, well, it's been controversial, it's been topical, and it's not gonna go away anytime soon.